Hi, we're up here on the Temple Mount during the happy holiday of Purim. Purim is famously known as the only holiday the Jewish people celebrate a miracle that occurred outside of Israel. So how is Purim uniquely tied to the Temple? I'm sure Rabbi Levi's got a really good answer to that. In Megillat Esther, we read that King Ahasuerus made a feast lasting for six months, followed by a seven-day feast for the inhabitants of Shushan. There were beautiful golden vessels on display at the feast, and according to the Talmud, those were the very vessels of the temple stolen by the Babylonians on display to celebrate their victory over the Jews. In fact, we have a tradition when reading those verses in the Megillah to change the tune to one of Lamentations, which signifies our sorrow over the misuse of those holy vessels. The Talmud further teaches that the primary function of this feast was to celebrate the complete victory over the Jews. There was a prophecy said by Jeremiah that the Jews would return to Israel after 70 years of exile. Based on their miscalculations, King Ahasuerus assumed that the 70-year period had passed and therefore celebrated complete dominance over the Jewish nation. Yet ironically, according to the Midrash, it was Ahasuerus's very own son with Queen Esther, King Darius, who would ultimately give permission to Zerubbabel to return to Israel and rebuild the temple starting the second Jewish Commonwealth. On behalf of myself, Dr. Melissa Jane Kronfeld, my partner, Rabbi Yehuda Levi, all of us up here on the Temple Mount and all across Israel, we want to wish you a very Purim Sameach. <laughs>